All right, we started Fusion, and we're going to go to Tools, drop down to the I.O. loader. That's going to bring us up to an open file dialog. And I'm going to go to an image sequence that I have right there, and I'm going to open it. And then we can go and hit this little button right here on the left and we can say fit and there is the image now we need to save it somewhere so we go to tools io hit saver we get another save file dialog i'm going to put it in a render folder and i'm going to call it um, clip one Dash, and I'm going to save it as a uh, JPEG file and add .jpeg. Click Save. If I go here and click the right hand button and I click Fit, we now have an input file and the output file. So I'm going to drag this over here and go back and click there on the first one image. Now, when I go to the next tool, it will insert itself in the correct location. And the tool is the transform, transform tool. It puts itself right there. I click there and this is now the image. I go over to here and I start clicking this and I can see it move. But do I know if it's right? If I hit control and down mouse wheel, I can go in. If I just take the mouse wheel, I can drag. And I'm checking the edges, the corners. That looks pretty good for a value of 1 right there. So I'm going to hit Fit. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is go to Tools and Tracking and insert a tracker. And that tracker is right there. You see the tracker there, the tracker here. I want to place the tracker here on the upper left hand corner of the frame and I see down here that it's in the upper left hand corner. I go to operation, match move, background only take off scaling and take off rotation. I go back to trackers. I click add. Now I have a second tracker that's right there and I want to take from the upper left hand corner of it and drag it down to the same little location here. This screen is going to move, but I'm not worried about that. I'll put it on the output side. Now, what I'm going to do is click down here at the bottom to go make sure it's on the first frame. And then I'm going to click this button right here. And that's going to track and render all the frames. I can say OK. And now if I look at it by using the scrubber button down here, I see that the frame is moving up and down, but the image is staying steady. That looks like what I need. The trouble with this is that it's a negative, so I would go to Tools, Color, and Color Space. Make sure it's on the first one. Color space. Let's show it. Well, we don't have to show it. We can still leave it there. 
we want to go to RGB and negative. We could try to color and negative and it gives us a positive image. Now the next thing we want to do possibly is to change the brightness and contrast. This is the brightness and contrast node. So at this point I can change the gamma down just a hair and move the contrast a hair and move the brightness just a hair. I can zoom in on that with control mouse wheel down and roll it, roll the mouse wheel and then we can say make sure it's on the zero frame and we can say render and the render settings take what we set up in the first uh, saver and we just say start render render is complete so we can go to the render folder and we see that we have positive image and it appears to be very steady in the frame and that's it one two three four five six nodes and it was done quickly.